Well, for four minutes, 28 seconds, the time a really fast person can run a mile in, Central Texans will be able to see the total solar eclipse on April the 8th. Your first thought may be to snap a quick picture to capture the experience, but is that actually safe? It can be if and only if you have the proper materials. You probably didn't know you need any. All you'll need is a pair of solar glasses, tape, scissors, are you taking notes? And of course, your phone. <laughs> Six News reporter Sanita Sean is here to help show us how to safely shoot the eclipse on our phones. We all know it's important to protect your eyes during the solar eclipse, but what about whenever you are wanting to take a picture or a video of the solar eclipse with your phone? Experts are saying it's important to protect your camera lens as well. So we're going to show you some easy and quick ways that you can do so. The first thing you're going to do is take your solar eclipse glasses and you're going to cut around the filter and make sure that you don't bend or scratch the lens. So we're gonna cut it just like that. Then we're going to get our phone and we're going to place that filter right on top. And then we're going to grab some tape and we're going to make sure that this is completely covered And you're going to probably have to layer up the tape just to make sure that it does stay in place. Once your tape is in place, you should be all good to go. If that is a little bit too complicated for you, you can always grab your solar eclipse glasses and just place that right on top of your camera lens. But this way might make it a better viewing experience. Now we're going to go ahead and go outside so you guys can see how to view it safely. Now those are just a few low budget tips on how you can record the once in a lifetime event safely. For more tips and tricks, you can visit our website at kcentv.com. I'm definitely gonna share that out. It's very